Will you make the city safe for those who are going to be back to the public sensitivity? We're going to go to mayors who are already prepared. We'd like to call that public sensitivity talk starting now. David Sonder, City of Colwood, August 2009. The city is implementing Wi Fi in schools, in libraries, in public places under the city of one zone. I had a near death experience because I was forced in radiation upon me by the drama of the smart meter program. Will you make the city safe for us? I think that this is an issue where I have to acknowledge I have more to learn, and I'd be happy if you'd be uh, willing to assist me in learning about how we can make advances in terms of accessing things like Wi-Fi in our city and do it in a fashion which is compatible with uh, your circumstances and with the needs for safety. We're bringing uh, Wi-Fi into the TTC as an example. Have they been, uh, have they been uh, properly liaising with the community to do that in a way that's safe? And has the medical, medical officer of health learned all that needs to be learned about the way to do this safe implementation? So the short answer is yes, of course I want to, and I need you to help me because it's an issue that seems to be coming into greater awareness, and I have to confess that I have more to learn about it, but I'd be very, very uh, willing to uh, work with you to learn more. There's, There's no the safe audience. level of microwave. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cut off your question there. Uh, there's a woman in the audience who uh, is interested in asking a question. If the microphone could be brought to her, please. Um, could you raise your hand, please? She's right in the middle there. It's through, it's 
through those two strategies, but at the heart of them, it's experienced leadership with the right values, and that is my offering to the people of Toronto. I've been there, I've seen what works and what doesn't, and I want to bring these experiences to the fore, because I think if we're going to have the motto, diversity, our strength, and we know Rob Ford has already said that's not his motto, he's getting rid of it, well, it is my motto. I'm a gay man. It reflects my values very well, but it's time for the city of Toronto to live up to its motto rather than just repeating it so often. So those are some of the ways that I would address this point. Thank you. We are rapidly running out of time, so there's only going to be one more question, sir, because you asked a question of a previous candidate. I'm going to let the gentleman behind you go with the last question of the day. Yes. Yes, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 